On your screen is Jack Dempsey. Um, there's some clips of Jack Dempsey against Jess Willard. Jess Willard, I believe the fight was in 1913 off the top of my head. Jess Willard had beat Jack Johnson in... Oh no, maybe Jess Willard beat Jack Johnson in 1913 actually. Um, and then went on to beat... Uh, then went on to fight Dempsey and Dempsey beat him with the famous Dempsey roll clip where uh, he, he rolls and throws the hooks and... Just one of the most beautiful uh, clips in boxing history. The only sad part about it is that we didn't get it in 4K because I'm sure if we got it in 4K, we could see the movement much better and the speed much better. Um, there you go. WBA adds then removes rehydration, rehydration clause from Javante Davis versus Frank Martin. The WBA are reportedly looking to institute fight day weight checks going forward. Um, while the eyes on the boxing public are looking to the undisputed showdown of Tyson Fury, where Tyson Fury is going to win, uh, it doesn't say that. I'm just adding it because uh, we all know that Tyson Fury got beat. Um, yeah, something extremely bizarre developed between them, um, between elsewhere, starting with Frank Martin's claim that the WB had instituted a rehydration clause for their 15th... Uh, 15th of June, lightweight title fight with Javante Davis. Um, it was a new WBA rule, and uh, Dan Raphael claimed that while the WBA was planning to institute the fight day weight checks, uh, that wouldn't be in effect for Davis versus Martin. Okay, I am going to make a prediction video on Davis versus Martin. Um, but yeah, the rehydration clause, do I think it's a good thing? Um, I do. I, I really do. I think if you're going to fight, fight at the weight. Um, and uh, I don't know whether it's boxers holding on to their weight classes too much or whatever. You know, they've got they've got to stay in their weight class that they 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 absolutely shred down to nothing, and then uh, and then their body's so weak that they have to put it all back on within 24 hours to actually you know conduct the fight in the ring, and then they're 20 pounds heavier. Whatever. I I I just don't know. Um, do I think it's a great thing. I think all sanctioning bodies should bring it in. Um, personally, <clears throat> I think if you're going to fight at 135 or whatever it is, then fight at 135. Do you know what I mean? Don't fight, at, say you're going to fight at 135 and cut, but come in at 150. Um, and it's always around Davis. So I don't know whether Davis has, has trouble putting weight on after fights, i.e. he doesn't, because he had a rehydration clause against uh, Garcia, I believe, didn't he? Um, which Garcia moaned about saying that, um, you know, he, he, he didn't feel healthy, he didn't feel, you know, put the weight on, blah, blah, blah. But didn't they fight a catch weight? Uh, 140 I can't remember um but yeah either way um the rehydration clause is not going to be there for Frank Martin versus Javante Davis okay um should it be there um I think Frank Martin and Javante Davis are both natural lightweights anyway um I don't see Frank Martin I mean Frank Martin probably could bulk up a little bit more than Javante but then Javante Davis has got room there but um, how much they put on, I don't know. I, like I say, I don't know whether Davis struggles to put weight on after after the weighing or not. Um, it might be the case. But um, but yeah, there you go. So uh, just a little update, really. And um, we're looking forward to that fight. Um, I'm looking forward to doing a bit of a prediction video on that um, because I think Frank Martin has a lot to offer, actually. And uh, there you go. Have a good one, everyone.